whole world can come together to do something very beautiful for our students. So might be my presentation uh, asks for a lot of things from the industrial experts over here, which might be possible or might not be possible, but you need to dream first, only then you can implement it. So let me start uh, sharing my screen. So the need to integrate with NEP 2020 goals. This is my uh, topic, Edutech version two, as I look at it. So these are some of the snippets that I took from Times of India uh, third, on the two days back. Uh, one tells that there are nearly three crore students who had registered for the SWAM last year, out of which 11.3 managed to get a certificate. The government is also thinking about expanding its uh, digital presence to nearly six lakh villages and uh, hopes that the quality of these uh, online courses will improve with accreditation. The last one is what we are interested in. The test preparation major, I once again repeat, the test preparation major, Akash Educational Services, uh, is likely to grow by 60 to 70 percentage and plans to add 50 to 60 new centers. Uh, we are basically here to discuss on this thing as to will the edutech um, uh, sector needs to revamp itself in order to survive. And you've got somebody who is on the expansion mode. Uh, let's look at it, how it uh, all uh, comes to what we are trying to discuss. These uh, new snippets tell that digital is here to stay. Definitely there is going to be a digital presence in the education sector and edutech companies are required. But NEP 2020 is going to be the game changer. What we have been doing, that's why I insisted on the word test preparation uh, center sorting and selecting students for the carriers has to change to celebration of all types of talents or holistic learning. That is what NEP 2020 is going to do if it is implemented in the right spirit and it cannot be done by the current educational system that is there. It needs the, uh, I mean, uh, collective collaborative participation of both the private and the uh, public sector in order to implement it in the right spirit. A lot of work has been done, but if we have to implement it in the right spirit and whatever uh, essence that it was uh, put on paper, then we need the participation, collaborative participation of both the public and the private players. Having said that, uh, the new education, one, just one second. want to go for screen sharing. Okay, fine. Uh, so the new education policy actually tries to re-establish the teachers at all levels as the most respected and essential members of the society. And uh, it wants to empower teachers. So the public institutions like the UGC, the Ministry of Education, AICT, NEPA and everything have done their job. They have put the policies together with a lot of deliberations and they have come out very beautifully. It is the private players, the edutech company, which have to walk hand in hand with the teachers to see that these policies are implemented. Having said that, the roadmap of NEP implementation as of now stands here. The National Institute of Education Planning and Administration has come out with the implementation strategies, which runs in 212 pages. The Department of School Education, Ministry of Education has come out beautifully with Sarthak part one and two for implementation strategy in the schools, which runs to 600 pages. And the UGC has come out with its own guidelines for the higher education sectors. Uh, having said that, even though these documents run into so many pages, each one of them have been the collective brain power of so many people over so many days, and they have come out very nicely, very inclusive, taking into consideration the unique situation in which the Indian education uh, system is in. But if we need to take forward these things and implement it, then we need something much more than that. So how can Edutech intervene in some of the strategies, just a glance. Um, NEP 2020 tells that 
uh, there has to be a school complex which is established, which will consist of one secondary school together with other schools of lower grades to act as a nodal center. And one of the activities that is proposed for the school complex is to conduct science fairs, bal mela, sports and cultural meets, literally fest and other things, as well as organizing demonstration lessons. There are many things that are proposed for the school complex to do in order to exchange um, knowledge amongst the cluster of schools. But one of the two things that I have picked up are these two. How can Edutech uh, companies intervene in this? You need a database to do this. You need the availability of experts uh, present in that, what kind of subjects they are good at, what kind of offerings that they have got, which can be contributed. This is not a job that can be done by a series of phone calls or uh, some paperwork, exchanging of notes. It needs some technology in place. That is where the edutech companies can intervene. The second one, these are the objectives of Sardak that I have taken. In this, they talk about vocational training, athletics, Indian knowledge, and everything being disseminated to the Indian uh, students. And they also tell that as early as the sixth grade, the students will be learning coding, as well as they'll be visiting the local craft and uh, local businesses available. And this job is given to the government schools in order to get ready and roll out such vocational programs uh, for the entire uh, state. So having said this, Edutech software can allow the teacher to block dates with a particular local business where her students are going to visit. After the visit and assessment of the learning outcomes can also be something that the Edutech software can prepare and give her. Of course, she can add her own questions to it, customize it, the option can be given. But these are ready-made platforms which will allow uh, her to be a more empowered teacher. Um, and um, might be historical data can be seamlessly migrated from one teacher to another. So if the students of sixth grade had visited a particular business unit in a year, next year the teacher is not there, another teacher is there. She knows what was the feedback and other things to go ahead with the same thing occurs. So these are the areas where the educate companies can actually intervene. And as far as the higher secondary, I mean, uh, higher educational institutions are concerned, uh, two things that I have picked up. There are many things that the educate companies can help out the higher education with. Two things as a sample that I've picked up is, the NEP 2020 tells that you have to have industry experts in the panel for curriculum design, revamp and content generation. And second thing is new content generation is something that uh, colleges have to do in order to be part of the academic bank of credit and um, offer their close courses to any student uh, in the world. And uh, students can pick up the courses in order to complete their graduation. These are the two areas where edutech companies can intervene because teachers need animators, visualizers, SEO experts, technical experts in order to do beautiful courses, content creation. That's where they can intervene. Another place, as I told you, to bring the industry connect. I've taken up this uh, particular piece of news from today's uh, newspaper only, which tells that uh, one part of it is very important which tells that many of the people who have retired when they were 50 to 60 years want back a job now. They are telling we are ready to work. We are ready to share our knowledge. We don't want money. Who is going to bring this connect? The school, the colleges need such experts in order to design their curriculum, in order to counsel the students. And there are people who want uh, uh, to help out, find some meaningful job uh, post retirement. And they're not expecting any um, um, monetary benefits out of it. It is the edutech companies which need to design a system processes which can give a connect between the time availability of these retired experts and what the requirement of the college uh, colleges are. That is what my take on how edutech companies can help in implementing NEP 2020. So at the school level, they can identify or help in identifying collaborations in terms of business units where students will uh, 
actually visit or help with coding experts so that from the sixth grade onwards, the teacher can collaborate with the edutech company for these, create material and processes for the teacher in order to successfully implement NEP 2020. Also help the teacher in implementing the design in the processes at the local level. Each edutech company cannot think about standardizing and rolling out for multiple schools. It has to be a localized to sit with the particular teacher, particular administrator and uh, give customized kind of technology in order to run the school, uh, in order to run a cluster of schools at that level. And at the colleges level, successful implementation, identifying and highlighting the strength of the colleges, helping the college to register itself in academic bank of credit, and finally give inputs so that you can have employable graduates out of the colleges, coming out of the colleges. These are the areas in which the edutech company can intervene in order to see to it the, the NEP 2020 is successfully implemented in the schools and the colleges. So finally, I have this think global and act local. Edutech companies needs to understand the requirements of the schools and colleges that they have been working with during the COVID or before that itself, as they prepare for implementing the impending changes in the education policies, they cannot do it alone. They need the support of the edutech companies. Um, uh, they need to walk hand in hand so that the beautiful policies which has come out of the efforts of many uh, people in order to celebrate all kinds of talents, not only whether a student can solve maths or physics problem, all kinds of uh, uh, talents has to be celebrated for that you need the NEP 2020 to be implemented in the right spirit and edutech companies have got a major role to play. They are going to be the support who are going to walk hand in hand with the teachers to tell them that you are empowered, we are here, go ahead and make students life more beautiful. Thank you very much for your patient listening.